What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert an HTML website to WordPress. So let's get right to it. First of all, here, as you can see, I have my uh, WordPress dashboard opened. And here I have a website uh, of my own that I created on Wix, just a test website. Um, and I'll show you this process on it. Now on WordPress first, you need to go to plugins and click on it or just hover over it and click on new plugins. Uh, here, click on add new plugin. And here you want to search for Elementor. So in the search, just type in Elementor, hit enter, and you'll get many results. We want to check the first one. That's we want to that's the one we want to install with the official one provided by, by Elementor.com. Click on install now and it's going to take a moment to install. And once it installs, click on activate to activate it. And here it'll take like a couple of moments and it'll load up the Elementor page. Now, um, here we will go back to WordPress, the WordPress dashboard. And now if we go to install plugins, we'll see here the Elementor plugin is now installed. Now, um, what we want to do next is go to posts here and now click on all posts. And you'll see your posts here that you posted on your website. We want to go to any of them. So let's uh, click on this one, which is provided by default once you create your WordPress website. And here it'll open up the editor. Let's close this pop up and we want to click on edit with Elementor. So it'll open the Elementor editor. And now it'll open up the uh, your website in Elementor editor. So uh, let's close this pop up for now. So click on continue. And now what you want to do is to add a new block or a new element here. So um, let's in the search here go to the search widget here and enter short code. So now you want to drag the short code widget onto the page and uh, drop it here anywhere. Now once you dropped or added the short code widget, now you want to go to your own website that you want to copy or convert to uh, WordPress. And here you want to right click on any empty area on the website and then click on inspect. And it'll open up the website's code uh, on like uh, here a menu on the, the right. And now you want to go to body, not the head, the body of the uh, website. So the code for the body. And uh, if you right click on it and then click on edit as HTML and you want to copy all of it, all the body till the end. So highlight, make sure to highlight all of it or just go ahead and uh, click Control A to highlight all the body. You want to copy it and then go to your WordPress editor. And here on the uh, post page, just click on the short code and then go to the settings for the code itself or, the, or for the like widget itself. And there here in the enter your short code, you will paste your website's code. Okay. And you can wait, you want to wait for like a couple of uh, seconds here and it'll update depending of course on your network's uh, connection. This might take longer or shorter than my time. And once you paste it, just click here on apply to apply the changes for your page or for your post. It'll load up here and it might take like uh, some time, as I told you, depending on the network speed. And once it loads up, you should see your uh, website's uh, content here or settings in the uh, short code right here in the middle. And once it does finish up loading, you should see your website's information here in the short code widget. And let's go and add another short code widget. So short code. Okay. Let's uh, drop it right here. And in the short code, let's paste the body of the Google website, click on apply and uh, it will load up here. It might take some time. And once it does, uh, 
and also you should see here the website's information however for some reason it uh, doesn't want to show but nevertheless this is the way to do it now it might take a long time and it doesn't show anything here probably because my website the website that i chose has lots of like animations background videos lots of complicated elements and uh, like uh, high file sizes so it might need lots of time to load up however it should normally load up right here right away so let's try to do the same process in uh, like a more simple website and I'll try to select a website with no not many elements in uh, the uh, page or the body of the page itself so like not many photos videos and stuff like that so let's open a new tab and uh, go like for this uh, temp mail website that I often use to uh, try out services it gives like uh, a temporary email now let's uh, right click on any empty space hit inspect and then select the body right click and then edit as HTML and select all and then copy it I'm just selecting like a random website and here let's add another and here let's add another short code widget so short code Okay, let's drag it here okay like anywhere and then here paste the code in the widget click apply it'll load up a bit to save the changes and it should be done and here as you can see it loaded each uh, it loaded up the website's uh, content all the text all the uh, titles all the icons and so on so it needed like uh, a lighter uh, website or a smaller website since the website that I copied or I tried to copy earlier had as I told you lots of animations lots of complicated elements that might have wanted a long time it should once you wait for it long enough it should also import successfully however I just wanted to show you uh, the uh, process itself so here if I go to the short code for my uh, website and as you can see here once I once the uh, other website is loaded now my own website is loaded with all the videos all the elements and stuff like that so as I told you it only needed like more time to fully import since it has lots of complicated elements so that's pretty much it that's how you import or convert your HTML website into WordPress of course it doesn't look perfect because we need to still edit uh, or make edits to uh, the website itself in the editor however I did successfully manage to import all the elements of my page into WordPress here in the Elementor editor